right, guys. Hello, welcome back. I. <laughs> Who says? Did you, you did you think for just a second that maybe we were moving on to something besides scrap busting? Well, you're wrong. We are still wading through. Look at piles of. Look at this pile of cutoffs today. This is what we're working with today. Goodness, they're escaping. Um, see this? This is my, as I was sorting through my, my scrap bin, this is my pile of uh, one inch cutoffs, or approximately one inch cutoffs from, you know, when you have a 12 by 12 and you're cutting it down to the size of like eight and a half by 11, which is our standard US size for putting it into a journal, folding it in half. Um, when I'm cutting them down to that size, you end up with a one inch cutoff on one side, and then you end up with um, like a four and a half inch cutoff on the other side. So you end up with a bunch of like one inch strips. Well, do you think some people, maybe you just use them up or throw them away or things, whatever. I do not, I kept them all. They were all, I had all the cutoffs that I've ever made, I swear, in my bin, in my scrap drawer. So I'm, I'm, I've come with a bunch of ways to start using those up as well. So this is what I've come up with so far. And we're not gonna go through all this today. Um, but what we will do is I will walk you through it and then, well, actually, so what I've got here are clusters, belly bands, um, these are belly bands, all belly bands. I've got some um, banners, sets of banners. I have some altered paper clips that I have made with some of the clusters. And then I've got some like pocket slash journal cards as well. So I think what makes the most sense is to set these aside for today. We'll come back to those and Let's do, you know what, let's do these. Um, and then we'll see how far we get. And then these, these kind of go all together as well. But I mean, some of this is no brainer and you don't need me to show you um, a, like how to do it extensively because it's kind of no brainer, like I said. So these are some different examples here of belly bands that I have made um, that I'm just like, I'm going through and creating a bunch of ephemera and stuff that will be ready to go now into journals. So um, that said, I think what's gonna happen is like this whole scrap thing has really kind of like evolved as I've been doing it. And I think what we're gonna do is end up making several journals out of just using up the collage pages, a bunch of, um, I've made a bunch of sets of uh, clusters and like strips, cluster strips kind of, this is just one envelope of I think four, <laughs> um, of different colorways and stuff. And then I'm going to be making now some altered paper clips, banner sets, belly bands, that sort of stuff, so that we can go ahead and assemble them. And I kind of have some ideas on how we'll do that um, in a later video. However, for right now, we are just making things, um, I'm still making embellishments and stuff, so that when we do actually get to the video, it should be fairly easy to put them together because we'll have done all this work already. So, um, Today, um, I will show you these first. This is working with punches. So um, I have here, right? I grabbed out my smaller punches. So I have a set, this is a set of four of these leaves. And this is just a little, oops, this is just a little heart punch right here that I used on this one. But I'll show you, oh, and this is a banner punch. There we go banner punch. So these are all my like smaller punches, but I'll show you some ways to create them. Even if you don't have any of these punches, we can still get the same effect. So without further ado, let's um, look at these first two. 
So these are literally just layered, obviously, and I, what I've done is cut, it, you can't really tell here, but I'll show you how I did it. Because it's, this is, you, I've cut out the space and used the negative space on these two um, to create these ones. But keep all the little punches because I've used them on this one. Now this is like a layered notebook. So you could use this as a belly band and then there's additional little spots to write or it could go along the edge of like if you have a pocket on your page or like a big folded over tuck spot, this is, would be perfect for right there. It's like a nice little page edge element kind of thing. And then these are little banner strips which I think are just adorable. They're little bunting. Um, and I'll show you how to make that even if you don't have this punch as well. So first let's go with this because then the rest will kind of work off of that. So let's put these. So now I'm going to get out my Mondo pile <laughs> of one inch cutoffs. So these are all virtually one inch. Ooh, this would work good for the banners. We'll keep that out. And, um, oh, there's a few pieces of rip strip in here as well. A couple wider pieces, which is great. Those will work for other things as well. But right now, what we're doing is um, the one inch pieces for right now. I'm going to move some of this other stuff over here aside as well. So what I want is something with a fairly, I don't want anything that's too busy for this because if it's too busy, you'll lose the cutoffs in the pattern um, of the paper itself. So what I want is like, those are fairly not too busy and they're complimentary. So we can go with those two and then this, whoops, come on now. We'll go with this one and you also don't want them to be too close together because you won't see. Yeah, we'll go with those two. Okay, so now let's, whoa, I just threw half of them off the table. Well, not half of them, but a good chunk of them just went flying off of my desk. Okay, now what I'm going to do is along the bottom here where you're just not going to see quite a right around the edge, I want to cut them down. My standard book is eight and a half, right, because I fold them in half. So my standard book is eight and a half by like five and a half. So I want these belly bands to be just slightly under eight and a half. Um, scissors. So I'm going to cut the top piece down to roughly eight. Now this is not precise by any means, right? And then I'm going to cut, I want, I want the top piece to just frame like this because then you kind of get, it just adds like a nice finished effect. So I want the top piece to be just under eight and a half as well. All right. Now these pieces that you're cutting off, we're making more scraps, but keep these because the other things that I'm showing you uh, tomorrow or whenever the next video is, um, we'll show you how to use these up as well. So the goal is no more scraps going into the scrap bin at all. All right. And then let's do this one while we're at it. That one is the perfect length already. So then I just want this one to go inside of that. Again, keeping this little, little bits. Okay. So now, now what we're going to do is I will do one with the hearts right away. And then I will do one with the leaves. We'll do one with the hearts with the skinnier one. So what I'm just going to do is start near the top, right? And just kind of punch. And I take the backs off all of mine, you know, because I love the little bits just flying all over the place. Just kidding. 
It's just what I do. So I'm going to go like every other. Some I'll do straight, some I'll do a little sideways or closer to the edge. You just got to be careful you don't get too close to the edge and you like cut the stamp off that's or cut the edge off while you're doing this. We don't want to do that. And one more at the end here. Okay, now we're going to keep these little hearts too because that also these come into play with those little cutoff bits over there. So I'm going to put these where? Where am I going to put them? I'm just going to put them in here with my, because I don't want them all over. So let's put them right there for now so they're contained. Okay. So now we're going to use that negative and voila, we're just going to sew it together. Sew it. This isn't sewing, this is glue. We're just gonna glue it down. Go around all the little edges. This one is easier. The leave one gets a little finicky. But it's okay, the leaves are so cool. The leaf punches, are, it's worth it. It's worth the little finicky gluing. Okay, now I just want to line it up. So it doesn't do what I'm doing right now and go sideways and wonky. There we go. Had a little bit of a, like a fold here at the end. All right, so you see, that was quick and easy, right? One little project donezo already. So we've got this sweet little belly band. Look at that. You could also, you know, cut it into pieces, like if you just wanted it over the, you know, if you wanted a sideways belly band on your page. Um, this is meant, this is measured to be a long one. However, with these ones, you could make it a sideways one as well. Or you could put it like as a, um, just a piece of page trim or a tuck spot on the side of a page. Um, you could also cut it off and put it, use it at the top of a pocket. Like there's all kinds of little pieces of thing or things that you could do, applications you could do with these. You could cut and, you know, use pieces of it as part of a cluster or something. But as it is, you can use it as a belly band. It's ready to go. So let's do this one with the leaves. These are a little bit trickier because there's not that much space between the bottom of the stem and where the end of the paper is. So you gotta be really careful as I'm doing this. I've gotta be really careful that I'm not going off the edge either direction. So these I found work a little bit better with a little bit wider paper. And I'm just gonna vary my stamps as I go. Ooh, look at that side's pretty too. Oh, I think I like that side even better. <laughs> okay, then we'll put one of these in. Oops, we'll come in from this side. Oh, gotta use all your muscles, guys. All right, let's see. It's hard to, you can't really twist them to the side too much, but you have to, so you don't punch off the edge of it. See, there's like, it comes so, here, let me move it over. See, it comes so close to the edge right there of like where your edge of your paper is. So you have to be really careful as you're punching. And of course, for some reason, I keep trying to use my bad finger to pinch with. Okay. And we're keeping all our little off things. We're keeping all our little punches.
And one more. We'll go over here with that one. Okay, so we're going to keep all these, and I'm just going to put them in there with my little hearts for now. Okay. Now, see that? Let's see. I don't know. Let's see. Which side do I like better? You kind of, that one has a little more contrast, huh? Well, I really like that color. But I think the other one has more contrast. So we're just going to go with the original plan. Now here's where it's finicky gluing. You have to like glue all these little edge bits and stuff. So bear with me guys as I apply the glue to all the little bits and pieces and spots. That's This is where I am so glad whoever I saw using this art glitter glue first, I am so glad because there's this would be tough to do with Fabri-Tac. The one thing I've thought about this too is, um, you know, I used to use spray adhesive when I was doing larger multimedia pieces. And I kind of wonder, because that would, I mean, spray adhesive would get all these little bits. You have to work really quick with it. And if you're doing it indoors, you need to have a spray box or something, because it is, it is, can be really overwhelming. But you can get smaller cans of it and stuff, and I kind of wondered if that would work good. If I just kept like a, a larger Amazon box sometime and... Okay, we're getting there, guys. You could probably like use a brush and just like brush this on too, but... Okay, lining it up, fish. Okay, make sure we press down all those little bits because you don't want them popping up or something. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. There is another easy little belly band. Boom, done. Project number two, done. Okay, now we are going to look at how I made the, um, these. Oh, actually, before we move on to those, let's do, let's do how I did this, because this uses those cutoff pieces. So, again, this is super easy. Oh, my goodness. I'm, like, sticking to everything. So what we want for this is, um... For this one, what I have is these are all papers that were single sided in the back and then I coffee stained them. So let's pull out our little pile. Well, we're not going to pull the whole pile this time. We'll just pull the top chunk off <laughs> and look for some so that that would work. These are a little bit wider too, but it works even with the skinny ones, the, the truly one inch cutoffs. So there, those two, and that one. Yeah, let's do those three. Okay, back to the scrap pile you go. Okay, so then you just want to go every other one, right? Because if we did like this, it'd be all the back sides here and all the front sides here, and we don't want that. We want like every other one. So. You line them up and you flip the middle one over. Okay, so you have them sandwiched and you have the, the pattern side and then the back side and then the pattern side. And then you simply fold them over, trying to keep them generally in line. And then what I do is try to look and find where my fold is going to be because I don't want it to be any longer than um, here's eight and a half right here. I don't want them to be any longer than eight and a half because then it just wouldn't fit in anything I was making. So I want them to be like eight and a quarter. So I want it to be to the fold, but then I also want these to be spaced 
well. So these are spaced, you know, they look about the same space like that does. So I'm going to go ahead and put that crease in. I'm satisfied with where it is. And then I'm going to see, did I throw my bone folder over here? Yes, I did. So I'm going to put a crease in each one separately, and then I'll just restack them. But I want the crease to be real good. Okay, now I'll restack them. And this one on top. And there we go. Now with this one, all I did was put a staple in, so that's all I'm going to do here, because what I'll probably end up doing is affixing them, <clears throat> um, putting a little top over them or something. But this will just keep it together until I get to that point where I put something over the top, like cap it or whatever. And then I can pull out my leaves, and we just glue a little leaf on the bottom of each one. How simple is that? So we go ahead, and then these become, again, another quick ready-to-use embellishment. And I mean, you could get fancy. You could be, you could be uh, putting inking on everything, and you could be, you could put cheesecloth behind them or little bits of fabric or other little bits of paper, like if you wanted to layer it up some more. Um, I am going through that massive stack over there. So I'm just going with, and since I like both sides of these, I'm gonna go every other one because the colors work for that. Both sides are green, kind of a pale green. Um, I'm just going through this massive stack of stuff. So. I'm not trying to get super fancy or thematic with any one of these. I'm just trying to um, get through a bunch of stuff and then I figure they can kind of be added onto later when I come to putting them into a journal. So if I want to make them follow whatever theme it is that I'm working on a little bit better. Oops, I meant to glue the other side of that one, but I didn't. So I want, I want this side of that one. So I want to, yeah, I want to glue this green side. So are you guys like me? Do you have a ton of these one inch cutoffs? You know, they also work great for things that I feel like I don't need to show you in this video. Um, just like I'll take, you know, I take it and fold it over like this and use them as tabs on the side of my pages. That's pretty simple. There, look, I already showed you. Tutorial done, boom. Um, and one more, one more leaf down here. Okay, I'm gonna go this way with this one. So, that would go, cute. Another little spot. Um, you could, again, variation on a theme. You could fold them shorter and you could put it sideways in a book. You could stack several of these next to each other on a page, different widths and stuff. Wouldn't that be kind of cute? Um, especially like in at the end of a signature where you have a little bit more space on the back page of a signature. Wouldn't it be cute if you had like um, three or four of these little flips on there? That's kind of a cute idea, huh? So lots of different ways that you can use these elements and like stack them up um, or use them individually to add just a bit of interest. Okay, so there's that one. Now let's move on to the little bunting ones. Now this, I, I pulled this paper out because I thought this would look really cute um, as bunting, right? It's like music notes and some green kind of lace and then that purple stripey thing. Um, and I, so I happen to have this stamp. I found them on clearance, I think at some point. And it punches these adorbs little banners. However, I will show you how you can do it without that as well, without the stamp. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out 
where I want. Yeah, okay, I think I'll do this side first. So what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is try to punch just the bottom half of this, and then we'll use the top half. So I'm gonna just get, as I'm doing this, I'm gonna try and get just to the bottom here of this. And I'm gonna try and get as many little baby banner things. What's the little individual? I know this whole thing is a bunter. Bunter. <laughs> Bunting. Right? Like that's the word for it. But what is, is each one of these individual little things a banner? Hmm. Food for thought. Okay. And then I've got mine sewn. However, you, again, alternate methods, you would not have to sew this at all if you don't have a sewing machine or don't care to get it out. You wouldn't have to worry about that. I get one more? Yeah, one more. Okay, so now I've got all these cute little, I'm gonna go with banner. These are banners and the whole thing together is a bunting. That's what I'm gonna go with. Okay, so I've got all those. Now, I'm gonna try and cut off right along the edge here with my super precise, amazing cutting skills. Not at all. It helps that there was a line on the little staff of music. Um, you could keep this if you wanted to, or if you wanted to, if you had a thinner piece, you could go every other one and use this as like a layered thing too. But that's doing the most, and I broke a few of them as I was going. So permission to throw this away. Granted, it's in the bin. Now, if you don't have the little banner stamp, you can also make your own little buntings like this, and I'm gonna use my smaller scissors for this, so I'm not wielding my giant ones around. And we're just gonna make little triangles, so that's the end piece. But we're gonna go every other one like this. See where I'm getting at here? and we're making our own little triangle bunting. Now, there is a stamp, a punch. This, this, little, this little banner stamp came with a sec second one that made punch it like little triangles like this. But honestly, I find it faster to do it this way. And um, even though it's not super precise, they all end up coming out about the same. And when you stack them up next to each other, you can't even tell the difference really. Okay, I'm gonna say that's probably enough of those. Okay, so now we've got triangle banners and the little, you know, fork-tailed banners. Now we need a, a piece, a skinny piece, so to sew it onto this, Again, I, as I was going through my scrap bin, the little tear-offs from the top of 12 by 12s, the skinny little piece that you tear off where there's usually the hole punched through, you know, that tear-off piece that's like a half inch, I, I threw a lot of those away because I was like, I had to draw the line somewhere. But that would be great for this to be your little edge trim thing. Or what else works is... <coughs> to just take a piece of um, one inch and use your fancy cutting skills again. And go down the middle. Okay, so these, these are not necessarily gonna be the greatest belly bands because I think as you were trying to slide things in, they get stuck on there. What I am imagining is on the side, you know, like on the side of a page, wouldn't that be adorable just as an embellishment along the edge of a page, right? 
So that's kind of where these are going. So they're not really going to be belly bands. Um, but they still need to be measured down to fit my, you know, standard page. So these I'm going to go with like eight and a quarter. Save this piece. Eight and a quarter. All right. So now um, I'm going to go with the not printed side just because I don't know why. And what I do is usually just take these two little piles over to the sewing machine so I can just pick one, pick one, you know, and put them on as I go. But um, you can, so now we've done, I haven't, I didn't do any ones that had, uh, these were all just regular, these banners, right? But so you line them up and then you sew them on, right? Um, certainly you could glue them on as well. Um, but I kind of like the sewing because it looks like they're, you know, on a banner and I try to kind of go in a wave like that. So, um, I probably won't glue these on right now just because I will put them through my machine, but I'm not going to make you sit and wait while I go put them through my machine, which is over there. And then you can't really see what I'm doing. So, um, so there's that one though. That's a quick and easy way to do this as well. And it adds such a sweet little embellishment to the edge of a page and it looks again like you've done a lot of work a lot more finicky I think than it ends up really being hard to do um, so that's that's the third one right here now let's see I don't want to get too far ahead of myself in this video so what I will show you oh what I will show you is these let's go to these though so these little banner embellishments. These are just little embellishments that I will be able to, again, like glue on the edge of a page like that. Um, or, you know, they could go on the top of a tag if you wanted. They could go on a pocket if you had this as a pocket. You know, it could go like that and be a cute little embellishment hanging off the edge of a pocket. I mean, again, these are like go-to embellishments. And if you look at this one, here is where I've used some more of those um, cut off hearts. So those hearts, I layered them up onto here and just kind of sewed them along this little piece of banner, right? And then that's got instant embellishment. This one doesn't, so you could leave this as is, or if you're working with something that's more um, like a theme, or if you have a little embellishment from a digital kit, you could stick that on here. Uh, so this, though, you have as a base that's sewn and glued together and everything and ready to go. Let me show you here. If you don't have any punches like this, um, there's a good chance that you have a hole punch of some sort at your house or in your crafting table at your disposal and you can still make a punched you know belly band like this so let me show you that I'm gonna use this bright blue so you can see because whoops um, and then I'm gonna try and do it over here because this thing has no good containment and these little guys go everywhere so um, if you have one of these, then you know that you have a, a larger punch and a smaller punch. So what I would say is we're going to go like this and we're going to create a little banner. And we can still do the negative space thing by just punching. a bunch of random holes or you could be more intentional and not so random about it you know with the bigger side and then I'm going to go with the smaller side and punch around inside of there yeah I thought going over my garbage bin would make sense but they're still going everywhere
So we're making ourselves a cute little polka dot banner. And look at that, we didn't even have to have any special stamps, I mean not stamps, punches, except for this guy. You can even do this with just a single hole punch, right? But now we've got this super cute little piece and it can be layered on top of, so let me find something over here, kind of plain. Let me find something brighter. There, <laughs> that'll really demonstrate. See, look at how cute that is. So now you, you've made, you know, you're able to make, so I did that here. You're able to make your own, um, like, punched negative space out of whatever. So these are really easy. Now these little bits that we were, um, and these altered paper clips, these little bits over here that we were cutting off the end, not the skinny guys, because wait, we'll come to those tomorrow, but the wider, like, one-inch pieces here, these, well, those are from, fell out of the pile. But these, I will turn into banners like this. So, this again, not highly technical. I am just using my best judgment. To, it's not straight at all but that's okay. Okay, so I like to have them staggered, like three different heights. They don't have to be, you know, profoundly different. Um, but, so like that, and what you can do is you could just run a little strip, you know, glue them together like that. If you want to then leave them and sew them into your journals, which I like to do sometimes too. Or here, I've kind of just used another piece of cutoff to encase them on the top. Um, you could also, let me get my little hearts out here. Well, they kind of match. Oh, I can turn them over though. So you could glue some of your little hearts on, or you could sew them on like I did there. But then that gives this middle one a little bit more, it judges it up. You could, if you had planer, if you had planer paper like this, you could do stamping on it first before you put these on or something. But you could glue those on or glue them just down one side. Alexa. Joop, joop, joop. I kind of like that look. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll just sew them on, or we'll just sew. Cal, why do I keep saying sew? Um, it's like I'm in quarantine and haven't gone anywhere, and every day is the same, and we're in the twilight zone. Okay. Kind of does feel like a weird Twilight Zone episode, doesn't it? Like the old school Twilight Zones. My husband likes those. I'm not such a fan, but every once in a while, we watch them anyway. <laughs> but that's okay. Every once in a while, he'll watch one of my movies with me. And one more little heart glue, gluey heart. This is gluing, not sewing. And I left a little extra space up there so I can show you the casing thing. And then I'm going to stack them back up and like that. And then I'm gonna find, here's a little paper. And I'm just going to cut that and fold it in half this way, the long way, like that. And 
and kind of line them up the best I can. Stagger them a little bit on the bottom, you know, however it looks best visually pleasing. And then this just goes over. Oh, now it's going to cut off my heart, so I'm going to cut it down a little. A little bit more narrow there. You can throw these away, these little matchstick size things. <laughs> Because honestly, at a certain point, at a certain point, is things get too small. Okay. Oh, come on now. Go over all three. Go over all three. There we go. And make sure they're all pushed up even. And then trim off the end. You can throw that piece away too, I give you permission. And then let me go zip this across my sewing machine. Hold on guys. Talk amongst yourselves. All right. So look at, there we go. Another cutie little banner, and that is ready to be sewn in after I trim these weird looking little sticking out everywhere threads here. Okay, so those are pretty quick to make, pretty easy to make, and um, totally ready to go in as well. These paper clips, altered paper clips, are virtually the same thing. I've just put, instead of putting a casing on top, I put a um, paper clip down over the first banner, right? And then glue the other ones right to it. So where these are flappy like this, right? And they're loose and free. These are glued down all the way. Um, and then they're just flat across the top. You could put a casing on if you wanted to. Um, you could just put another little flap of paper here and glue a paper clip on if you wanted them cased on the top like that. It doesn't matter. You could put a, you know, poke a hole and put a little ribbon or something like a tag-ish. Um, these were just some pieces, these long strips like this that I had bought from, I think these are Calico Collage Digital from like forever ago. And I had a half sheet of them. And then I had some of these as well, little one inch pieces. So I made these little altered paper clips that are like banners as well. And those can go in um, either way, really. These could go in on the side of a page like this or at the top of a page. And then these can be, like I said, sewn on the edge of a pocket, on the edge of a paper, wherever. These are just like simple embellishments to go on as well. And then I think we're going to stop there for today because I'll come back tomorrow and the next set of things makes um, make a little more sense going together um, for the next like section of belly bands and pieces that we are going to use to do our um, continue our one inch cutoffs. <laughs> then after that's done, I think that we will start moving on to the next part, which is like actually putting together some journals. And I have some ideas, but um, I'm kind of excited. Or maybe we'll start cutting down the collage into tags and pockets and embellishing those as well with the clusters and stuff that I have. Anyway, um, I'm excited. It's kind of like spun into this huge project and I am um, super energized as you can tell because I've been filming daily right now but that's also just because I have to keep moving on this or I will stop and I do not want to stop I want this to get done I want it to be managed so that at some point I will clean have like a thorough clean of all of this stuff all of the scrappiness organize it and then move on to you know things that I need to do like some design team stuff and whatever so anyway I'm happy and pleased and contented to be getting a, a whole bunch of stuff made and done. And I'm excited to see what this fin fin blah blah finished product will look like. My brain is getting ahead of my words. So guys, um, I will see you later today for another giveaway drawing. 
And uh, but if you're watching this later in the month or something, you won't. The giveaway drawings are done at that point. Um, but I will see you probably again tomorrow um, with the other part of this video and then we'll move on from there all right guys so have a wonderful morning afternoon evening middle of the night wherever time it is on whatever side of our fantastic globe that you live on i hope you are safe i hope and pray that you are well um, that you're healthy that your mental health is holding out on you that you're finding a smile and able to share that and pass it along that you're finding some bits of joy um, in your day and finding a way to just make this time be something that's a blessing rather than a curse. And I know that can be really hard, but, um, but I think if we can come out of things having learned something about ourselves or about others or about our world, then um, we're better for it. So anyway, guys, take care. I will see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.